I'm pleased to take this opportunity to declare once again, therefore, that this administration attaches the greatest importance. Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel, JBest TV. If you are just visiting for the first time or an already existing subscriber, please do well to subscribe to our channel, like, share and drop your thoughts in the comment section. On today's video, we'll be talking about the popular figure in Nigeria, former GCFR Ibrahim Babangida. Let's get right into it. Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida, GCFR, born on the 17th August 1941, is a retired Nigerian army general and politician. He served as military president of Nigeria from 1985 until his resignation in 1993. He rose through the ranks to serve from 1984 to 1985 as chief of army staff, going on to orchestrate his seizure of power in a palace coup d'etat against Muhammadu Buhari. In his position as the 8th president of Nigeria from 27 August 1985 to 26 August 1993, he was preceded by Muhammadu Buhari as military head of state of Nigeria, succeeded by NS Shonekong as interim head of state of Nigeria. In his office as chief of army staff from January 1984 to August 1985, he was preceded by Muhammad Bushishi, succeeded by Sani Abacha. He is Nigerian by nationality. He was born in Mina to his father, Muhammad Babangida and mother Aisha Babangida. He received early Islamic education before attending primary school from 1950 to 1956. From 1957 to 1962, Babangida attended Government College Bida together with classmates Abdusalami Abubakar, Maman Vasta, Mohamed Maguru, Sani Bello, Gaba Duba, Gadu Nasko, and Mohamed Sani Sami. Babangida joined the Nigerian Army on 10 December 1962. He attended the Nigerian Military Training College in Kaduna. Babangida received his commission as a second lieutenant as a regular combatant officer in the Royal Nigerian Army a month before it became the Nigerian Army. With the personal army number N438 from the Indian Military Academy on 26 September 1963, Babangida attended the Indian Military Academy from April to September 1963. He was commanding officer of one Reconnaissance Squadron from 1964 to 1966. From January 1966 to April 1966, Babangida attended the Younger Officers course at the Royal Armoured Centre in the United Kingdom where he received instruction in gunnery and the Saladin Armoured Car. Lieutenant Babangida was posted with the 1st Reconnaissance Squadron in Kaduna and witnessed the events of the bloody coup d'etat of 1966, which resulted in the assassination of Sir Amadou Bello alongside several young officers from northern Nigeria. He took part in the July counter coup led by Mutala Mohammed, which ousted General Agui Ironsen, replacing him with General Yakubu Gowon. Following the outbreak of the civil war, Babangida was recalled and posted to the 1st Division under the command of General Muhammad Shua. In 1968, he became commander of the 44 Infantry Battalion, which was involved in heavy fighting within Biafran territory. In 1970, after the war, Babangida was promoted twice and posted to the Nigerian Defense Academy as an instructor. From August 1972 to June 1973, he attended the Advanced Armored Officers course at the United States Army Armor School. In 1973, he was made commander of the 4 Reconnaissance Regiment. In 1975, he became the commander of the Nigerian Army Armored Corps. Babangida attended several defense and strategy courses. Colonel Babangida as commander of the Armored Corps was a key participant in the coup d'etat of 1975. He was later appointed as one of the youngest members of the Supreme Military Council from 1st of August 1975 to October 1979. 
Colonel Babangida crushed almost single-handedly the coup d'etat of 1976 that resulted in the assassination of General Mutala Mohammed by taking back control of the radio st Nigeria station from the main perpetrator, Lieutenant Colonel Buka Suka Dimka. From January 1977 to July 1977, he attended the senior officers course at the Armed Forces Command and Staff College, Jaji. From 1979 to 1980, he attended the senior executive course at the National Institute of Policy and Strategic Studies. Babangida was the director of Army Staff Duties and Plans from 1981 to 1983. Babangida, alongside his other co-conspirators, later appointed the most senior serving officer at the time, General Muhammad Buhari, as military head of state from 1983 to 1985 and Babangida was promoted and appointed as Chief of Army Staff and the member of the Supreme Military Council. Shortly after coming into power, General Babangida established the Nigerian Political Bureau of 1986. The Bureau was inaugurated to conduct a national debate on the political future of Nigeria and was charged amongst other things too. The exercise was the broadest political consultation conduced in Nigerian history. Between 1983 and 1985, the country suffered an economic crisis. In 1986, Babangida launched the Structural Adjustment Program, SAP, with support from the International Monetary Fund, IMF, and the World Bank to restructure the Nigerian economy. In 1987, Babangida launched the Mass Mobilization for Self-Reliance, Social Justice and Economic Recovery, MAMSER. Following a recommendation from the political bureau to increase self-reliance and economic recovery, the policies involved in the SAP and MAMSER were deregulation of the agricultural sector to include abolition of marketing boards and eliminating of price controls and lots more. Babangida contributed to the development of national infrastructure. He finished the construction of the third mainland bridge the largest bridge on the continent at the time. His administration also saw the completion of the dualizing of Kaduna Kanu Highway. Babangida also completed the Shiruru Hydroelectric Power Station. He had the Toja Bridge in Kebi constructed. He also created the Jibia Water Treatment Plant and the Chalawa Senga Dam in Kanu. Babangida also founded the Federal Road Safety Corps in order to better manage the national roads. On 23 September 1987, Babangida created two states, Akwaibum State and Kastina State. On 27 August 1991, Babangida created nine more states, Abia, Enugu, Delta, Jigawa, Kebi, Oshun, Kogi, Taraba, and Yobe bringing the total number of states in Nigeria to 30 in 1991, Babangida also increased the share of oil royalties and rent to state of origin from 1.5 to 3%. Babangida and his ministers of the Federal Capital Territory led by Maman Vasta, Hamza Abdullahi and later General Gado Nasko led the regime relocation of the seat of government from Lagos to Abuja on 12 December 1991. Babangida strengthened foreign relations of Nigeria. He rejected apartheid in South Africa, involved Nigerian troops in the Liberian Civil War, hosted the Abuja Treaty, which gave rise to the African Union, and enhanced relations from the United States and United Kingdoms. In 1986, Nigeria joined the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, an international organization considered the collective voice of the Muslim world. This move was welcomed in northern Nigeria where there is a Muslim majority population. However, non-Muslims criticized the move likening it to an Islamization agenda of Nigeria, a secular country. Babangida then second in command Komodore Ebitu Oko Okiwe opposed the decision to join the Islamic organization and was removed as chief of general staff. Babangida married Miriam Babangida from 1969 until her death in 2009. 
They had four children together, Aisha, Muhammad, Aminu, and Halima. Babangida is rumored to be worth over 5 billion US dollars. He is believed to secretly possess a multi-billion dollar fortune via successive ownership of stakes in a number of Nigerian companies. In 2011, according to a Forbes article, Babangida is estimated to be worth over 12 US billion dollars. Babangida has rejected these claims and insists his government were saint. Well guys, that is it on today's video on Ibrahim Babangida. Thank you for watching through and please do well to subscribe, click on the notification bell to get notified on our new videos. Also like this video, share and drop your thoughts in the comment section. See you in our next video.